Hello, I'm Susan Pember. I am the AOC's Governance Advisor and for the last four months I've been working with the AOC's Governance Council to do a review of governance. It's been really interesting, very informative and now the report is complete and published. I hope governors and principals and college leadership out there in the sector will take note and actually action the recommendations and proposals. The things I'm most interested in is that governing bodies are definitely not broken, they've served this country well, but they do and need a refresh. So governors, college principals, you need to act now to make sure that your governing bodies are in position to take forward the new agenda for further education, which is about educating all those 14 upwards, making sure that what they learn and what the new skills they gain are very vocationally led and they all got, get good jobs. Now to do that, the governing bodies need to be refreshed, they need to be changed, and any complacency out there needs to be gone from the sector. People need to look at the composition of their governing bodies, they need more women, they need people who represent their communities, and they need more employers who actually do employ people to work in that community. If colleges do that, if governors refresh their governing bodies, they look at the ways that they work in and they are there to ensure that the college um, achieves its best for learners in that geographical area. Now the report demonstrates that there are the things that can be changed, there are actions needed by, to be done by government, to be done by you as colleges, and together those changes will make a big difference. Government needs to decide how it wants to monitor colleges and um, colleges need to decide how best to serve their governing bodies by deciding which performance indicators to regularly put in front of governors. And governors need to take on the role of asking really challenging questions. Not be that nice, be really constructive, but actually not that complacent either. And say to leadership um, teams in colleges, you know, are you sure about something? Are you that confident? Are you really making a difference for your students? And are you really doing what employers want? If everybody does those roles in a really sort of simple, straightforward way, we will re have really good, strong governance in England. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we, we did a short survey from, of, of governing bodies and more than 50% um, replied in terms of, we asked two main questions. One is the structure of their governing bodies and the way in which um, they've changed to meet um, new demands. And secondly, was on the composition of governors themselves. Um, on the structure of governing bodies, the most interesting finding is that um, f more than 50% 50, 50 are now looking at um, changing their constitutions to use the new freedoms which were given to them last year. Um, so that's, for example, um, uh, using um, changing roles or using smaller governing bodies or um, other, 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 other quite technical changes but help the process work more effectively. Um, many, um, quite a few governor, governing bodies um, are now having to deal with issues to do with sponsoring um, academies, um, university technical colleges, studio schools, and so that's caused some changes. Um, on the composition of um, governing bodies, quite an interesting finding is the fact that um, more than 40% of chairs have only been in post for um, up to two years. So there are quite a few long-standing chairs of um, colleges, and, um, but equally there are quite a few new ones, and so there's quite a degree of turnover. Um, we established that um, for the colleges who responded to our survey, and I think it's a good sample, um, more than 40% um, are, um, are representing business or employer interests. But at the same time, we identified the fact that um, uh, colleges, there are quite a few areas where colleges have vacancies in their governing bodies, and so that's why as part of the governance programme we're going to be um, uh, working with the uh, one-stop shop service for schools uh, to provide a college-specific service. Um, and um, we uh, found answers to several things which um, uh, are of in currents of interest. So we reckon from our sample that 40% uh, of governors are women, 60% men, and the average age um, of governing bodies we est of governors we estimate um, is either 51 years old or 51 years young, depending on where you look at the life. Mm -hmm.